Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I wanted to come on here and um, film for you guys because I just feel like we're slacking and I hate that. Maverick is taking a nap right now and Dominic is working. So I figured let me do one of the videos that I can film alone so that way um, I won't need anyone else. So obviously as you can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but um, I'm going to be talking about the skincare um, stuff that I use. So basically my skincare routine, what I do in the morning and what I do at night. I'm also going to be eating my lunch. Um, it's 11 o'clock, but um, I'm just like not in the mood for breakfast food today. This is a Jersey Mike sandwich. I don't know what Dominic ordered. He got it and I'm just going to eat it. I think the bag says a number four. Five, whatever that is and I'm sure he got it the Jersey Mike's way if that's what it's called I haven't had a Jersey Mike sandwich in a really long time my bun barely fits in the frame I'm gonna scoot you guys back because I can't stand that sorry I can't stand that my bun is like not in the frame my bun is like a big deal to me so hold on one second a little back um, story about my skin um, I never took care of my skin throughout high school, um, at all. And also throughout my twenties, I would say probably not at all. I used really bad products, I'm sure on my skin. And then there was a moment of, there was a period of time, I believe it was like mid twenties to late twenties where I would sleep with my makeup on. Oh, I know. Don't come after me. It was really, really bad. But um, I would sleep with my makeup on and I wouldn't wash my face till the next day. That's how late I would go to sleep. And um, I regret it so much because I definitely um, was able to tell the damage it did now in my 30s because of like all the discoloration I have and just, just how my skin was in general. It was really bad. So if you are watching this take care of your skin and do not sleep with your makeup on do not oh just thinking about that is gross i'm so mad at myself i'm mad at my uh old self because i would never ever do that now as tired as i would be i would never sleep with my makeup on like there's no way i just i wouldn't even be able to sleep in general so um, yeah, so I didn't really take care of my skin and um, then I believe it was like around my late 20s, I started getting adult acne. I didn't really have acne um, in my teens and I remember I didn't have acne in high school really. It would just be like the hormonal breakouts, um, but never like um, bad breakouts or never bad acne. It was just like, like I said, like the hormonal like one here one two here and there you know and then come my late 20s i started to break out a lot like i would get really bad like texture and i remember it was like all along my um jawline my cheeks my forehead around my nose it was really bad i had developed really bad adult acne and um i tried so much stuff i tried so many different um face washes and serums and moisturizers and creams and masks and this and that. I tried so much and it would, it would get a little better. I even tried proactive and I'm not joking. Proactive didn't really work for me that well. Like it, it did, like, I feel like it controlled it, but it didn't fully do it for me. And I also just in general, just didn't like the thought of proactive like i've heard terrible things of what it does to your skin so i really wanted to stop using that so i stopped proactive and i um i started getting um facials regularly and um i believe i would get them like every five to six weeks um, and that helped so much. I remember right before my wedding, I was doing this peel. It was like an intense peel. And I did about like, I want to say four or five in a row. And that peel completely changed 
my life. Like it changed my skin. Like I can't even explain what it did to me. It literally saved my skin. Uh, I'll write on, I mean, I'll put in the description box the peel I'm talking about and I'll also um, put in the description box my uh, facial curl or um, I can't even think. Yeah, I'll, I'll put all her information in the um, description box. And uh, she's here in San Diego. She's awesome. My cousin referred her to me and I'm not joking. I am so thankful for her because she was the start of my skin journey and the start of, um, I'm not gonna say my skin is perfect now. I will give you guys like a close up, but oh my God, has it come a long way. So I started that, I started the peels with her, and then after that I started um, getting dermaplanes with facials, which also did wonders for my skin as well. And I know that sounds excessive, like every five to six weeks I get pampered with a facial, but I'm not joking, it's not like a pamper thing. It's literally for taking care of my skin type of thing. It's very, very, very important to take care of your skin, and I've learned that now. Um, like luckily it wasn't like a too late for me type of thing and it's never a too late type of thing I feel like so um yeah I started that I started doing my facials and then my um another family member of mine introduced me to this skincare line and I'm not joking like I will never use anything else ever again this video is not sponsored by by her she um it's actually a a lady that um who um is the creator of this line and i believe that she is a esthetician as well i'm sure that's the word right that's what they that's what they're called anyways don't come for me for that okay i told you it's it i know it's not early but i start my day pretty early and um I'm hungry and um, I do probably need another round of coffee but I'm not making excuses but I'm pretty sure they're called estheticians and um, she has created her own line it's called sorry if I'm saying it wrong but it's M Emmy Diane and basically what you do is you can do kind of like a survey type thing online where you input all your information about your skin, about your age, what you eat, and like literally like, I don't know if it's like exactly like what you eat, but it's just kind of stuff that like you take. Like if you do go on the website, you'll know what I'm saying, but they basically will pick out all the stuff that you need according to the, the thing that you fill out. So I did that and she's actually based in Arizona. And I got really lucky. My cousin was picking up some products that she had ran out of and she was actually in there because she she gives, she gives does facials and stuff at, based out of her office in Arizona. And um, I got to talk to her a little bit and she sent me like a link to fill out um, information about my skin so that way she knew what products would work best for me and best for my skin. And, um, I have been using this stuff, I want to say, for over a year now. So, the nice thing is, is all these, all these products right here last so long. This is only my second round of products. The first round lasted me almost seven months. And yes, this stuff is kind of pricey. Um, I would say pricey but reasonable, especially for what it's doing for you, um, and also because how long it lasts. I'll put all the information about all the products down below um, and pricing and all that. And I'll also link uh, her website that she that you can look at the products and kind of like read about the, her products and all that stuff. So for me. Uh, this is what I do every single morning. I um, wake up, obviously brush my teeth, and then I wash my face with this stuff right here. This is her uh, gentle cleanser. Can you guys see that? Is it focusing? This is what the bottle looks like. They're really cute, very simple. Um, so yeah, this is the cleanser, and it's for sensitive skin because I have pretty sensitive skin. 
Um, and then um, I go in with these. I'm not joking, best thing ever. I posted it on my Instagram story not too long ago and I got um, a few DMs saying that people have either A, used them and can't believe how much they love them or B, if they actually truly work. Yes, these work and do not break and do not crumble and do not get all the like residue from the um, swab and just it doesn't break up on your face. I'm not joking. Best thing I have ever found and ever used and it's for when I use these for my toner. So my second um, thing I get into is the toner. She does have different types of toners. I've tried the, um, it's like, uh, this one's pink. The other one I tried is clear and I love both of them. I just wanted to give this one a try because this one says it's for firming and brightening and I forgot what the other one is for, but um, you, you'll see it on the website. But um, so this is the toner and oh, the size, I'm gonna tell you how much comes how much comes in each bottle. So the cleanser is six fluid ounces and so is the toner. So it goes for me the cleanser, then the toner, and this is my morning. And this is what I do in the morning. And then um, my third uh, step is the, the skin quencher and it's a gel hydrator and it's two fluid ounces. This is what it looks like, take the cap off. It's like a pump. And it's, by the way, one pump. So I will say, on the bottle and on like the paper that comes with all your products, it'll tell you how many pumps, how many, like, um, how much to use of all the products. I don't use as much as it says to use, so maybe that's why my stuff lasts very long, but I think that how much they say to use is a little excessive like I don't need that much and my cousin agrees and says the same thing she doesn't use as much as it tells her to do so um, like for instance this says um, to after cleansing and toning apply a pea size amount to face and neck so I just usually just do one pump I think that's for me works and is enough for the amount of area um, if you want to use more, obviously you can use more, but that's what works for me is one pump of that. And then for this, this says to use 12 sprays. So basically spray your pad 12 times and then wipe your face. I use eight sprays. Um, I believe I use eight sprays. Yeah. And eight sprays is plenty. It soaks up the pad. It gets my entire face and I'm perfectly fine. I think 12 sprays is a lot. So um, eight sprays of that. And then my fourth step is the Clarifying Serum SS. There is another um, type of serum. She has t uh, um, like, I can't even tell you how many serums she has on there, but this is the one that she chose for me. Sorry, I don't know if it's focusing or not because I can't see the screen, but um, it's for sensitive and rosacea skin and I believe she obviously picked this for me because like I said in the beginning I have discoloration on my face. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll get closer in later and um, I'm gonna take a bite of my sandwich actually Because I'm just like smelling it. So I believe for sure that's why she picked that for me because of What I want to accomplish for my skin, but there are other serums that are on there same thing it's a pump you see that yeah does that actually really work how can they do that um so that's my fourth step and again this is all still morning and then my fifth step is the hydrolux cream it's a moisturizer and same thing it's a pump and then, oh, the serum is one fluid ounces and the moisturizer is two fluid ounces. And this is an ultra moisturizing cream. There's obviously, like I said, there's so many different um, stuff in each category. This isn't the only thing that she has to offer. There's tons of stuff on there and it's all sectioned off on her website. So it's really easy to find. Um, so this is my moisturizer. This is what I use 
um, after everything I just said. So this is my fifth step. And then my very last step, oh, by the way, I was gonna say, I am pretty sure that um, she recommended this one for me because I believe there's another one on there. Um, after having Maverick and even like during my pregnancy, he dried me out very, very bad. Like my hair was really dry, my skin was really dry, like, and I used to be very oily. Like I was normal to oily or even just oily in general. And now I'm more normal to dry for sure. Um, but it's weird because now that I'm leaning off breastfeeding, I'm starting to get a little bit more oily again. So, um, who knows? It seems like my skin's changing. So right now this stuff is still working great for me. Um, so I'm just going to stick to it. Probably my next round of products. I'll see how my skin is it and see if I've got in oily and not dry anymore And I would obviously let her know so that way she could change up whatever I would need to change up And then my last step for my morning routine is the illuminating sunscreen So she does have another type of sunscreen um, And it I used it before I used this one and honestly um, I could say that I really really love this one I love this one, but I miss the other one. So the other one is a tinted, uh, I think it said a tinted sunscreen. This one is tinted too, but the other one gives me more of a tint, which I really, really like because lately I haven't been wearing makeup. So I feel like the second I put on that sunscreen as my last step, I'm like, boom, like I am ready to go. And I just feel like, I feel like I have like some coverage on my face from that sunscreen. So I do miss the tintedness, if that's a word, um, of the other sunscreen because this one doesn't give me much of a tint even though it does say that it, it has one. This one gives me more of a glowy look. So it's like, why can't I just have both in one bottle, right? So I feel like I just wish this one had a little bit more tint to it because I want that glowiness when I'm not wearing any makeup, if that makes sense. So. I want the shininess of this because it's not too shiny. It's not like a, ooh, like you look oily shiny. It's like a glow, more of like a glow within, within you know? So, um, cause I was telling myself, maybe I'll go back to the other one for the tint and then just like do something else to give me that glow. But then I was like, mm, would I rather have the glow or the tint? What would you guys rather have? Let me know in the comments below. But um, this is my sunscreen, same thing. The pump is, the head is a little bit different, but same type of concept. And this one is two fluid ounces. So for the skin quencher, I do one pump. And then for the serum, I do one pump. And the serum is like really like watery. It's not like watery, but it's more, it's not like, the texture's just really like loose. I don't really know how to explain it, but to say that. So like, I have to like, kind of like squirt it in here, like, kind of like this so that way it doesn't fall. So I just do one squirt of that and then I like dab it like this so that way like I don't lose any product and then obviously like rub it in all over the place. And it tells you how to, where to put it and what areas to avoid because some of these products you can't put on your neck and you have to like watch out for your eye area because it's uh, really, some of the stuff is pretty strong. But um, so the sunscreen, oh okay yeah, sorry. Serum, one pump, and then the moisturizer, sometimes I'll do a pump and a half, so that way I have enough for my face and my neck, because I can't forget your neck, right? Um, so, <laughs> the sunscreen is um, has SPF of 58, and it's 40 minutes water resistant, so that's pretty cool too, and I, I don't know how much SPF is in the other um, sunscreen and I, I know it's water resistant as well and I want to say it's 40 minutes also but I could be wrong so um, I'm not sure you can check it out obviously like I said on the website which I will link down in the description box okay so that is my morning routine all the products I just named so it's one two three four five six steps I know that seems excessive and I know that seems like a lot and I know that sounds like, oh my God, I would definitely get lazy and stop doing that. 
I'm that person that would get lazy and stop doing that and I don't. So I believe in you. If you wanna try this stuff out, I believe in you that you will not get lazy and you will not give up because I'm not joking, it feels so good. Like I've obviously already done my morning routine this morning and my skin feels great. I, do you guys feel like you see a tint? Close, so you guys can see my skin. Before you would be able to tell where my acne is, where, here, let me bring you guys a little bit closer. I'm gonna get you guys up close and personal. See how you guys can kind of see my, I still have a little bit of discoloration. And obviously the redness around my nose, that's all just hormonal. Please excuse my eyebrows, they are so bad. They're so bad. I need to call my lady and see if she's open. Let's try and get the lighting back. So that is my morning routine. Those are the steps that I take every single morning. And then at night, um, it's a lot quicker and a lot shorter, which I feel like they did that on purpose because they know everyone's super tired going to bed. So um, this is what I do every night. Um, every night I go in with my um, cleanser. So it's a gentle cleanser at night. And then after my cleanser, I do my toner. And this is, like I said, my nighttime routine. And then after I do my toner, I go in with the acne eraser and I have the 5%. Um, I was, I think the, the minimum one or the one underneath this one is like 2% or 2.5. I was using that, but I was like, you know what? I definitely need something stronger. So I bumped myself up to 5%, which you obviously can do yourself if you feel like you need more. Um, which I definitely did. So you obviously can try whatever you want, try new things and order what you want. Like they'll start you off with what they think that you should use. And then I just started exploring after that. So like I, like I changed my toner because I wanted to try it out. And then um, the only other thing I changed was my sunscreen and then I upped my acne eraser percent. And um, same thing pump based and it's one fluid ounces and um, I believe there's a 2.5 or a 2% I'm not sure don't quote me on it but it's one of those and then the 5% and then 10% which I believe is probably so strong and I don't believe I need so I love my 5% um, I'm pretty sure I would just stick to 5% I don't think my skin needs the 10 but um, there is a 10% if you feel like you would need it. So, and then that's it. That's my nighttime uh, routine. It's just those three steps at night. Um, obviously the morning is um, a lot more, but this is what I do every single day, morning and night. And then um, I also just purchased a mask from her line not too long ago, which I should have brought out. Um, it's a, I believe it's like a cucumber mask. Um, let me go get it. I'll go get it for you guys. Here is the, um, it's called the cucumber cooling mask, but it's, this is what it looks like. It literally fits in the palm of my hand. Let me take another bite of my sandwich. Um, okay, so this is the cucumber cooling mask. I don't even know how long it hasn't been recording. I wasn't even paying attention to that. So hopefully it's been recording this entire time. Oh god, okay. So I need a bite for that one. Okay, I don't Whoops. Mm. It looks like it's like an Italian type of sub, which I am not shocked or surprised that my Italian husband would choose an Italian sandwich. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. literally fits in the palm of my hand it's two fluid ounces this is a little different see that circle that's where the product comes out so you just push this down and it comes out so you can push down as many times as you need to cover your entire face i believe i would do like two pumps and it fits or um, it's enough product for it fits it's enough product for my entire face i will say the very first like two times I used the mask, it did break me out. It didn't like break me out like acne break me out, but it brought out 
like I feel like it just brought out all the gunk in my face like it just brought everything out and then took it all away it was crazy like I had all this texture and like all these little bumps and within like a couple of days I think it was like one or two days and it was gone it was crazy so I didn't give up I was like you know what I even texted my cousin I was like dude the cool the mask I got broke me out and then she's like like how did like what does it look like what what are the pimples and I was like they're like the little ones the little bumps the annoying ones and um, she was like, give it like one more try and see if it takes it away. Like maybe it's just bringing everything out. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna give up on it. So I did it again. It did the same thing. I was like, let me try more time. And then I did it again for the third time and nothing. It was just like cooling, like it said. Like it was, it felt so good. So I'm really happy with this mask. She has tons of other masks that I cannot wait to try. So, um, I really want to try this one because I loved, um, what it said. It's like, it's a refreshing gel mask and, um, it helps to soothe and hydrate the skin. So that's obviously another reason why I got it. Cause remember I was saying that I was dry. So I wanted to get this one out of the other ones because it says that it, it's a hydrating mask. So it's great for all skin types and it can also be used under the eyes to reduce puffiness, which I do get a lot. Sorry, my light went out again. Um, and it says to store in the refrigerator for an extra cooling effect. I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna try that next time. So that is the mask um, and that is everything I have from this line, which I can't wait to try more stuff because I absolutely love, love, love. I can vouch, and I know so many people who use this stuff that can vouch, who have suffered with really, really, really bad acne. And I'm not joking, if you see their skin today, you would be amazed. Um, and this stuff, I'm not joking, my husband will even vouch for you, and vouch for me. Um, he will not spend money on just to spend money and he even says like every day like your skin looks so good your skin looks great babe and I'm just like I even was telling him like I had filmed a TikTok yesterday and I was telling him how like the first thing I noticed was my skin and that is not the first thing I ever noticed the first thing I would notice regarding my skin is how bad my skin looks so for me to like notice how good my skin looks is like everything to me because I was telling him like I I haven't like been really wearing makeup and it makes me feel confident and it makes me feel so comfortable when I'm not wearing makeup um and that's like worth every penny to me because being comfortable in my own skin and like not having to wear makeup, like the comfort of not having to wear makeup, like if I don't have time to put it on. So I showed you guys my morning routine. My hair is coming, my bun is coming apart. Sorry. Yeah, I will link everything, like I said, down below in the description box, the website. Um, I'll also link my esthetician's um, information, not link, but I will put her info in the description box. She also has an Instagram and she also has a website. Um, she lists um, all her services and all that. Obviously she's closed right now because of COVID, but um, she could answer any questions you have um, for her. She had just posted something about that. So feel free to check her out. I will list her information in the description box, like I said, and that is pretty much it. Um, I think that's all I have. Yeah. So, um, this was me and sorry, I didn't really eat so much of my sandwich on camera. I was trying to talk and not, fo and I wasn't like focusing on my sandwich, which I did inhale. And I actually had to come back and film the rest of this video, um, hours later, um, like almost four hours later. Um, my camera like heated up. I need to get a new camera. This is more of a vlogging camera and not like a sit down and like go for hours camera because it heats up and then it turns off and I have to wait for so long to refilm and that's really annoying. So um, 
yeah i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already um we are trying to get back into the rhythm of things i know i said that the last video but i'm trying to get the family together on videos vlog more um we were just in arizona so we just got back and once again i brought my camera and didn't vlog any of it i'm so upset at myself i just need to get into the habit of you know holding the camera just videoing everything but sometimes i just like i don't know if people like want to be on camera or if they get annoyed i don't know i mean they wouldn't have but i mean like the people who i was with wouldn't have but I just need to get better at it. I will get better at it and um, yeah. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like this video um, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh yeah, and happy Friday. It's Friday today. <laughs> so if you're watching this and it's not Friday, which it's probably not gonna be Friday, here I go with my rants again. I'm always ranting. <laughs>